Hey, we're going to talk a little uh, factoring by uh, splitting the middle term. Here's what you're going to do to start. 3 times negative 10 is negative 30. Now, think about all the ways that you could rewrite 13x. He'd be like, you know, 12x plus 1x. You could do, I don't know, uh, 10x plus 3x. So many ways you could rewrite 13x, but I'm going to tell you which specific way I want you to, to rewrite it. You're going to split it, right? You're going to you're going to write it as the sum of two different uh, two different items here. So you know what? What multiplies to negative 30 and adds to 13? Negative 15 and two. So you know what we're gonna go with, uh, you know, what? And, and let's go with let's go with 15x minus 2x. All right, stay with me. Don't worry. We split the middle term. All right, there are 13 x's. We can't change the number of x's, but I certainly do have the ability to say. Hey, you know what? 13x's is equivalent to 15x's. Take away 2x's. So we split the middle term. Uh, there was really one proper way to split it, right? And that came down to the multiplies to negative 30 and adds to 13. So now you're going to group these things up here, right? You got the first two terms and the last two terms. I want you to look at the first two terms, right? Your 3x squared and your 15x. Okay, we'll put them in green here for you. I want you to take out any common factors. Right? 3 and 15, okay, they both have a 3. Right? They both have an x. Okay, so now just kind of a review on factoring. If you have 3x squared, and you want to factor out 3x. It's like when you want to know what's left, it's simply 3x squared divided by 3x. So that's 3xx -X over 3x. Hey, that's just x. And you knew that, but we've got our plus sign here, so it'll be a plus uh, 15x. Just to illustrate my point, hey, I have 15x. I'd like to factor out 3x. Well, 15 is 3 times 5. So, hey, what's left when you factor, whoops, when you factor 3x out of 15x? Hey, you're left with 5. So, x plus 5. Now, go to the next two terms. All right, so, both things that you see highlighted in green are equivalent. So, we'll go to the next two terms. I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, they both don't have an x, so I'm going to have to leave the x, but uh, 2 and 10. I'm going to factor out a minus 2. Now you're wondering, how did you know to do minus 2 instead of plus 2? And you know, Because it would make a difference, but I'll show you on the next problem. Okay, so I'll factor out a minus 2. Okay, minus 2 from minus 2x, right? that leaves you with x. Right? You could distribute it back in, hey, minus 2 times x is minus 2x. Now let's see, minus 2 times what gives us our minus 10? Well, that would be a plus 5, right? Another way to look at that would be, hey, I have minus 10. I'm factoring out minus 2. That leaves me with plus 5. You know, instead of saying minus 2 times what is 10. All right. So this is really important that this happened. Okay, what we're looking at here is these two pieces, x plus 5 and x plus 5. As you go through this process, it's absolutely necessary that those two pieces are identical. Okay, And that was part of me making the decision to make this a, a, a minus 2 when I factored it out. Because right? a plus 2 would have, would have changed what was in that set of parentheses. The next problem, I'll, I'll, I'll help you uh, make that decision whether what you take out needs to be positive or negative. Okay, anyhow, so we're not done. You're like, hey, we're supposed to factor, but you know, this isn't what it normally looks like when I factor a quadratic. Normally, I have like you know, 
two binomials multiplied together. Before I finish this off, let me make sure you know how to factor this. Let's say you had like uh, a b plus six b, right? Separate problem. I said, hey, will you factor that? Said, yeah, okay. What's common? Hey, they both got b, right? So why don't you take out the b? So look at how this process goes. You always you're gonna write down what you have, right? Or write down what you took out. So you took out b and you write it down. And then you always go, okay, I gotta put a set of parentheses, right? Because I took b out of multiple things, and the parentheses are gonna show that. So when you took B out of AB, well, you are left with A. Okay, then I got this plus symbol here. And when you took B out of 6B, you were left with 6. Okay, so that's what your answer looked like. So check this out, though. The first thing you're, you're looking at, you wrote down what you took out. And then you put your parentheses in. And then... You made sure and you recorded, okay, A is left when I take B out of AB. So I wrote that down. I got my plus. Now what happens when you take B out of 6B? I've got my 6 left. So you write down what you took out, your parentheses, and then we're, we're writing down, recording what's left. And I know that seems pretty simple, but it's, it's going to help us here. Because right? you maybe haven't factored anything that looks like what we're dealing with up above. So what's common up above? As odd as it seems, this quantity x plus 5 is common. So I'm going to write that down. I'm taking it out. Just like down below I took out b, right? I'm going to take out x plus 5. So, okay, I always, he says, write down what you take out. Done. Now we got to write down what's left. Okay, well, x plus 5, when you take it out of the green piece, Let's see, you're left with your 3x. When you take the x plus 5 out of the blue piece, you're left with your minus 2. Now, we are done. Okay, uh, negative 5x squared minus, or let's go with uh, minus 6, 30, uh, we'll go plus 11x. Okay, link these two up. Multiply them together, you get 30. What multiplies to 30 and adds to 11? 5 and 6. Okay. So I'll put my 5x plus 6x. You could swap places here, it won't matter. Right, so I just split the middle term. I'm going to go ahead and group the first two together. Let's erase this piece. Okay, so I'll group the first two together. I'll group the second two. So in the first one, I see, hey, you know, five's common. I'll take that out. They also each have an x. One of them's got, you know, x squared. So 5x out of negative 5x squared. Hey, that's going to leave me with a negative x. 5x out of 5x leaves you with, well, 5x is what I have. Factor out of 5x, that leaves me with 1. All right, now here's the kicker. It's really important that you're going to have a minus x plus 1 over here. Right? This is going to help you. I mean, obviously, when you look at this second piece, you say, well, they got 6. But how do I know if I should do 6 or negative 6? Right? Well, you want to have the same... Uh, piece on the right hand side there, the minus x plus 1. So if you put in 6, well 6 times minus x doesn't get you 6x. Right? I'm looking at that 6x. 6 times minus x, when I multiply these two things together, I don't get 6x. So I'm going to make this a minus 6. So I got minus 6 times minus x is 6x. Minus 6 times plus 1 is minus 6. So I have factored this I wanted to. All right, so hey, let's take out the common piece and let's record what's left. They each have a minus x plus 1. 
What's left? Well, you got 5x out of one and a minus 6 in the other.